welcome to ASMR God Zombies. I'm gonna turn the game down for you guys so my shit wall doesn't get farted. Hope you guys are having a good day. Welcome to God Zombies, but it's ASMR. Uh, I think ASMR stands for Ass Mario Wario Gold, but yeah, I'm gonna be playing some Keen Hunter Dalton Black Ops 1, but it's on Black Ops 3, and hopefully, I'm gonna make you guys tingle like Rick Dolphin's butt cracked after he lets Maxis slide through his DMs, also known as Dick a Mole. Uh, yeah. I haven't played Keen Hunter Dalton in a while, and I figured, you know, what better way to celebrate Keen Hunter Dalton Black Ops Zombies than with some ASMR beautiful? I'm gonna make you guys some tingle. I'm gonna do some, like, butt crack spanking sound effects. <laughs> and, you know, hopefully it's gonna- Oh, Jesus Christ. Never use the Shiva at 3 a.m. on God Zombies. That's the fastest way to get your DM stolen by Wario's big meaty butt crack. I can't wait to get on my goal. We're gonna try to get to round 25 right now, gamers. I gotta be around 25 gaming. Rick Dolph is gonna pop off the screen like Fight Nights at Freddy's Fast Bear. And Freddy Fasting Fitzgerald Fabricasted Butt Ghost is going to shit on my shaft and show me why they call him Fast Bear because he's gonna come in me faster than Sandy Cheeks shits the bed at night. I'm so scared. Don't be out for you guys having a good day. Uh, What's your favorite wall gun in God Zombies? Comment down below what your favorite wall gun is. And Rick Dolphin will show you his golden rod at 2.33 a.m. on a Monday. But uh, we don't know if this is factual or true. Not yet, though. We're doing pretty decent right now. All of these zombies are going to butt crack land. We are shitting all over the zombies. Mans are going to die. They are going to get absolutely eviscerated. God Zombies Gamer Gold Black Ops 3 for sure. Black Ops 6 stuff to go to God Zombies. I don't think anything gets harder than Black Ops 6 Zombies. You have so much variety of maps. You have the Chronicles maps for that beautiful, simplistic style of gameplay. If you want something more like intense and more like modern, you have the modern maps of the game of the game. And I think they're absolutely beautiful. All the maps in this game are cracked. Some absolutely good maps. We have like the fucking Gloriole Robotic Dr. Robotnik's gaping lizard butthole right now. Looking like Daft Punk dripping on acid right now. Shit in the bed right there. We're not gonna look at that too much, but yeah, we're gonna be being shown right now. Oh my god, this officer trying to absolutely eviscerate me. Holy shit, I almost just died. I don't even know why these are the Shiva. It's slightly petty when you have like rapid fire and the attachments on it, but it still doesn't hold a candle to RK5. The RK5 just outshines the Shiva. It's kind of like how peanut butter is way better than jelly. Like if I had to have jam or jelly, you're just peanut butter. I already know I'm choosing peanut butter. Peanut butter is the goat. I would definitely like fuck to a crack with a spoon. Eat spoons. Eat peanut butter instead. Peanut butter is way better for you than crack is. I'll be, I'm like 99% sure. Oh, uh, we got a little bit of a death machine power up. We're like Michael Bay sperming sex 10,000 times over a creeper on Minecraft. Let's go. Okay, so we got a thousand points. We're gonna take off here. We're gonna take on me. We're gonna take off the fucking people. We're gonna go find the mystery box. And hopefully we're gonna get the thunder gun. The thunder gun is definitely the gun you want to most engage with Toten. Yo, and there's beautiful sexy Rick Dolphin with no ad man's hairlines failing like my heart. Let's go. Man, shitting the bed. And we got our hellhound round. I'm gonna shit my pants. No, I'm just kidding. Hellhounds are fucking easy in this game. Even though it's just the RK5, you can pretty much take you to the Hellhounds right away. We're gonna buy the MP40 though, there's nothing like the MP40, you know. You gotta appreciate the classics, times times you're gonna spank your butt cheeks at 4 o'clock in the morning. To really shit yourself at night. And there we go, that's the first Hellhound, absolutely obliterated. Freddy Fazbear, what do you even know what happened? That was Freddy Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear just got fucking juked him out like we were playing basketball and I slam dunked my butthole into his penis hole. Fuck slam down in the modern sense. That's what we do, baby. We just talk about Freddy Fazbear and this bullshit. God Zombies, Fanatic Gamer, Riz, God Gamer, Jabroni, Man, Butt Crack Offer. Yeah, Rick Toffin is a goaded character. We got Teddy Bear Takio, Riz Boy, Nikolai, Russian Man, Tank NAC, Brandon, Brank Dentsy. Uh, my dad, because that's a mysterious guy. Oh, Jesus, jump scare. Holy crap, calm the hell down. Boy's just trying to take me out, but I don't think he understands that. He can, like, back the fuck off a little bit. Man, was just trying to take me out, and I'm just trying to be being chilling on the hose right now. Oh, wow, that's fine, though. What the hell are you doing? Now get absolutely obliterated, zombie. I just got absolutely shit on. Get absolutely clapped out, bozo idiot. Man, the RK5 is probably the best starting gun of all time. I can't think of a single starting gun that actually outclasses the RK5. It's so good. Plus, when you put an AT zone, you can just train with it and get to any round you want, technically. I was about to say the RK5 actually sucks, but you know what? We actually did clutch it out. If I had the M14 or even the Olympia there, that was curtains. 
Zombies were gonna show us their fucking crack hole. They're gonna spawn a pocket dimension with a yo yo coming out of their butthole, and they're gonna pucker their cheeks to make the wire go back in. If you want to impress your friends and you learn the butt crack yo yo trick, shit's buzzing and absolutely beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna try to save up for Chuck as fast as possible because we don't get Chuck out of the zombies, gonna fucking quad strike us, and we're gonna absolutely get shit on. And we are trying to get caught like by the zombies. If the song is absolute shit on us, you're just pretty much GG right then and there. We're gonna grab that news just so the round sends faster. And we are going to hit the box, which is hopefully on the stage. If the box is on the stage, I'm gonna do a cartwheel gritty with Patrick Starr and Bikini Bottom. I hope Patrick Starr is ready to hit the gritty with me. Me and Patrick Starr about to overdose on Hennessy and shit our pants. And make a hell out fart out Fortnite's V-Bucks for us. And the Gorgon's not really good, but it's only round 7. The Gorgon's like decent till like round 12, 15 or so, so, you know, we're definitely gonna be able to camp out with this for now. Zombies are absolutely gonna shit themselves to death. We are going to take the zombies into the Shadow Dimension. We're going to show the zombies what the Gorgon can really do. Uh, probably get us killed and then we cry on Twitter later on. Because the Gorgon is not very good, infamously the worst LG in the game. It's definitely decent in multiplayer though, but in zombies there's like so many better guns they could use. And this is kind of beautiful butt crack shit. And we're just not worried about it. And the Argus is like decent. Not really the best gun if you ask me, but I mean, eh. It's a wall shotty at least. The KRM is definitely better though. Wow, we're getting beautiful box luck right now. We just got three strikes. If this was a game or baseball, our butthole would be filled with Big League Chew and Freddy Fazbear would be kicking our nuts down, giving us a beef stew, ripping the chunky ass top hat, wearing ass butt crack juice in our face. Could absolutely shut up. I'm not gonna grab the carpenter because it's just gonna make the game go a little bit slower. Okay, there we go. And actually, good gun. The Dink Ghost probably the top, the top 10 guns of this game. I'll say the Dink Ghost fucking harder than the sauce. Harder than Daddy Ghost in the sauce at 4 a.m. on a Thursday afternoon before your mom says, ouch, ouch. And there we go. We're doing pretty good right now, though, games. I remember when I was a kid, I thought you could, like, climb up this ladder and, like, escape. Kind of do told like, it was a weird bootleg Minecraft Roblox obby crash course bullshit. Doritos crash course on heroin on the Xbox 360 bullshittery, but it's fine. We ping Joan right now. Don't play Kind of at 3 a.m. It's absolutely scary. Rectoffin comes out your monitor and puts his hat on you. It makes you speak Fortnite language, a.k.a. So someone us butt farts. But I can't believe how big Fortnite got. I feel like Fortnite could do a collab with, like, Jesus Christ himself. Like, actually get the real God resurrected to collab in Fortnite. And no one would even be surprised anymore because Fortnite is that big. I really hope COD Zombies are just, like, half the level of Fortnite has in 2023. That would be based as shit. Because, you know, COD Zombies, if you play it, you're probably passionate about it. It's such a fun game. And for anyone still playing Zombies, don't give up on the mode, gamers. COD Zombies is absolutely fucking beautiful. This game mode slaps hard, and if they don't fuck it up in 2024, I think it has the ability to survive. I also get that they added the Galil on the Black Ops 1 maps. We're just gonna run the Galil and the Dingo. Look at this shit, beautiful bustin' with Red Dot Sight. If only they had Red Dot Sight when JFK was killed, they could have reacted to it like a quick time event. Probably wouldn't have got absolutely ass crack butt blasted into the afterlife. El Bozo rip JFK, John F. Man, guy with the brass shit himself. I'm gonna try to get some more monkeys and if we move the box, we can get fire sales, so. Definitely not the worst thing ever, and if we get the Thunder Gun before, and that's gonna be pretty big bustin' butt cracks, too. I'm gonna get an APH too, so if we get into a sticky, tricky situation, we can just do, uh, teleport. We can just fucking dip like daddy -o, you know? Having a big bozo moment. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a really good day today. I'm being chillin', you know? It's like 11 p.m. when I'm recording this. And hopefully this helps you guys sleep or laugh or whatever. I, I'm not a, I, I don't have, like, gum to chew with my anus. I'm not, like, an ASMR channel. But comment below if you think I should start an ASMR second channel. Because that would be kind of funny. Oh, monkey bombs. Let's go. That's quite literally perfect. We got beautiful big boy Richard Monkey Man. We're going to be able to throw a monkey at the zombies. Confuse them. Man, there was a monkey bomb pop final, and I wish I had it. I'm pretty sure I got it, but I actually gave it to my cousin for Christmas. Man, I thought it was the funniest, littest shit of all time. God, zombies pop finals go hard. I would suck Winnie the Pooh's honey hole for a Rick Toffin pop final, not gonna lie. That would actually go so hard. I think it's a dog round again. Yeah, definitely dog round. It's foggier than my brain. Without coffee, playing transit at 4 a.m., shitting my diapers. But yeah, we being shown now. Round 11 is practically secure because, I mean, you're not really going to die to a hellhound. 
round on Black Ops 3. How hounds in this game are very easy. You pretty much don't have to worry about them. I feel like dying while shitting is more common than dying to a hound. I mean, that's how Elvis Presley ran out. Man tried to fart and he was shit out of luck because man put the shit in his butt. And fucking died and got blasted into the shadow of Man got absolutely clapped on him. Man made an elbow, so mistake and shit himself to death. Quite literally, shit himself to death. Like, how the fuck do you even do that? How do you go about shitting yourself to death? I don't think that was something that you could even fucking do. But Elvis Presley found a god way. Man went, hey, 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 and then shit himself to death. That was more like Fat Albert's thing, but I mean, he's being shown at the same time. I feel like after this round, we'll turn on the power. But I kind of just want to be being chilling without the power. Because when you turn on the power, you get the Nova 6 crawlers. And they're more annoying than trying to understand what the hell Helen Keller was saying back in the day. She was speaking SpongeBob, Charlie Brown, and told Nima Toad language on all. Shit was impossible. That was like trying to understand anything to gritty in real life. Ah, oh, yes. The zombies think they have a chance, but we're just showing them what for. We're showing them a greasy, leaky hole right now. It's like, reminds me of that Minecraft song, Diggy Diggy Hole. That song was fucking goaded for real, for real. Mike, oh, OG Minecraft parodies went hard as shit. Bring Captain Sparkles back. Captain Sparkles is better than anything today. Captain Sparkles was the goat of Minecraft songs. Cause baby tonight the creeper's trying to flex my butt crack again. Now we don't really need the vest, but we're gonna buy Chuck though, because if I don't buy Chuck, this always gonna absolutely put away my butt crack and show me what the second anus of a crack hole is. And to be honest, I don't wanna know what the fuck that means. I'm kinda surprised we haven't got the teddy bear head either, because we hit the box more times than her Kelly pissed on people and the fucking box hasn't left yet. I guess the mystery box has a crush on Rick Toffin and I gotta admit I have a fucking crush on Rick Toffin too. If it was between me and Rick Toffin or Larry the Lobster I would cook Larry the Lobster and eat his ass and shit on it and then have beautiful times with Rick Toffin in Minecraft because Rick Toffin is an S tier beautiful booty crack gamer. After this round we're gonna upgrade the Khalil too. Use that like, classic lamentation. Gun is absolutely goaded with the saws. I haven't even really had to use the dingo yet. Because, I mean, we got the Galil. Why would you not use the Galil once you get it? I'll probably keep the Galil and get rid of the dingo just because the Galil is very, very nostalgic and badass and fucking lit. I was going to buy the HVK, but I actually don't believe the HVK is even a wall buy on this version for some reason. Because the HVK is one of the best wall guns. Fucking goes hard. Time for back a bunch, baby. Oh, baby, I just got hit with the Wario Wall fart gas in the ass crack. I'm going to be uploading this as a raw video, too. We're, we're going to throw this in one more time to see what we can get to. If we get fireworks or dead wire, we're happy. Yo, dead wire, pretty big. Thanks, Popper, Rick Toffin. Dead wire, easy is the best. A18 in the whole game for high rounding. Because it kills like up to 10 zombies every activation. And it just absolutely put crap blasts of zombies back to the fucking prehistoric ages. Where they can watch Fred's Flintstone overdose on opioids and vice his butt crack to his wife at 4 o'clock and shit itself. So that's pretty fucking hype, honestly. Dead wire is just absolutely going it on the sticks. I don't even think there's anything come close to fucking dead wire. Dead wire is fucking absolutely beautiful. It's like if you're playing monkey ball without the ball. Absolutely fucking hard in the sauce. Oh, we got our first stupid bald man. Man, just like me in the next 80 years, bald and shitting my pants. Kind of low-key excited for the glory days of life, though. Does it get any better than being bald and absolutely shitting your diapers? I don't think so. Where the hell is this last zombie? Man's hiding from me like I'm back on my butt crack full poo-poo right now. Where the fuck is this zombie even hiding away, bro? What the fuck is this zombie doing? Zombie thinks this is a game of Roblox hide and seek for real. Man thinks he's playing Minecraft Bed Wars and he's trying to go invisible mode on my ass. Man's trying to go, go, gadget, go, go, Danny Phantom mode. I just shit my diaper. Man, we being chilling now. I'm fucking, it's round 13. I'm gonna try to get to round 25 as fast as possible. That's gonna be the point of view. I'm gonna try to be getting to round 15, round 25. Round 25 is gonna be the base beautiful butt crack of the round we're gonna get to. We're gonna absolutely collapse some zombie cheeks and shit the bed. We're gonna fucking one up their cheeks. Where the hell are these zombies coming from? Boys thinks he's trying to go and get the head chart jump start on me. 
I think I just had a stroke, but it's okay because we feel different and we can recover from a stroke. Like a Super Smash Bros. character recovers from getting knocked off the stage. We're fucking built different. Let's go. Wow, Cam, I can't say I'm surprised. Oh, that's Deadshot Daiquiri. I'm playing on PC. So that's quite possibly the worst perk we could have fucking got in the world. But it's fine, you know. We goaded for real. Gotta get some points with the dingo. Now we're gonna be able to pull some fire sails up too. Uh, we're gonna try to get Widow's Winder's stamina up for sure. Widow's Wind is very clutch in this game. It's probably like the most crutch perk. I'll kick stamina up. We're actually not gonna grab uh, stamp out uh, Widow's Wind. Because I think that'll make it a bit too easy. And I need to get better at the game without Widow's Wind. So we're not gonna grab Widow's. We're just gonna go with stamina and up instead. Now let's grab that. Let's go grab double tap as well. There's a really good strat in here with the fire trap, but I couldn't be bothered to find out who asked to train in there. I'd rather find out who the first person to blink and take a shit at the same time was, so get rid of that bullshit. Richtofen, what the hell are you trying to talk to me, big brother? Why aren't you whispering, Richtofen? This is ASMR. This is Antonio shitting Mario roleplay, you butt fucker, Richtofen. They're dead, Richtofen. That's what happened to the puppies. They fucking died. They're found dead in Ohio, taking a shit in a McDonald's Sprite cup. What the hell? So all these dogs got absolutely clapped and shit on. Let's go, gamers. We fucking one tap, one cap in the rap. I'm gonna go in the alley, actually. We're gonna be being shown in the alley. Oh, oh but the box. We're gonna hit the box, too. We're gonna have one hit. Maybe we can get the thunder gun and hit the gritty on the hose and do some fucking beautiful ass dance moves make a new fortnite emote with my ears dancing like a fucking creepy uncle on crack shitting the bed on his deathbed ah whatever that's fine we running around baby we're gonna send the alley the alley was definitely one of the best strats in the game especially when you have the thunder gun you can get just absolutely obliterate ass plus the zombies throw them back at a fucking skyrim off a mountain like your fools wrote behind their cheeto cheeks on the top of mount everest or whatever the fuck mountain red from pokemon stands on top of when he's trying to find out who the fuck asked on top of the butt crack peak just like pokemon black and white was peak pokemon except maybe gen 4 I feel like gens 1 to 5 were coded and everything after went downhill. Although X and Y were kind of okay. And I definitely do like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Okay, here we go. What, comment below, what's your favorite Pokemon game too? I, I, I don't even know what my least favorite is, honestly. Scarlet and Violet didn't hit well with me though. The op it's open world, which is cool, but the open world feels like it was designed by Udinity Asset Flipper that actually figured out how to develop half a game and then got really drunk and did ketamine butt fart chugs. But it's definitely like, okay, I just hope they like use the uh, open world blueprint to figure out that the formula more to make a decent open world uh, for Generation 10, because I'm a big Pokemon fan and I don't know, I feel like they could have done better. But, like, I couldn't have done better, but I don't know. Pretty much what I'm saying is I like Pokemon, and they and they can, they can make a good game if they fucking try. Speaking of good Nintendo games, why was Tears of the Kingdom so goaded? Like, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are a very good duo. And if we get one more sequel to, like, t to Tears of the Kingdom, it'll be a goaded trilogy, if you ask me. Shit goes hard. I don't know if I like Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild more, though. Because Tears of the Kingdom's really fucking good. But so is Breath of the Wild. Like, Ultra Hand goes hard. Ultra Hand just turns Tears of the Kingdom into butt fucking Minecraft. Creative mode, like, Link somehow unlocks creative mode. And that's what happens in Tears of the Butt Crack. My anus sometimes cries too, so I can definitely relate to Link. I'm gonna rock the M16 too. I'm rocking two Black Ops 1 classics right now, baby. Can't be stopped in the hole. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep the M16 over the goddamn Shiva. 
why is the game giving me the gun equivalent of a dusty ass Joe Biden fart off of his ice cream booty bone butt crack shit stick? What the fuck? If I die, my, if I had one wish before I died, it would be to play God Zombies with Barack Obama. I would play God Zombies with Barack Obama in the blink of an eye. That would be a goaded video on God. Like, you know how Markiplier got to play uh, FNAF 4 with Jack Black? I want to play uh, God Zombies with Obama. I bet Obama would be the best God Zombies player of all time. Man would be more cracked than all of the high rounders combined. Man would hit every road record in one hour. Because man would just ascend and figure out strats that progress the game some fucking how. Man would pretty much have the ultimate trap gamer card. <coughs> Excuse me, I just burped. And I want to upload this footage raw for like raw dog, I mean raw commentary practice for streams and future shit like that. So I'm sorry about that. Oh, I can't. Okay, so we're being chilling now. Yeah, Keanu's challenge's definitely a golden man. Probably in my top 10. Definitely not in the top 5, but probably somewhere nightly, neatly in the top 10. Maybe like actually my 10th favorite or 11th. I don't know. There's just so many good maps that came out after it. If I had to rate maps on popularity and iconicism, though, Kino would definitely be rank one. Because, like, I feel like everyone that thinks of COD Zombies immediately thinks of Kino to order this floppy dick sack looking ray gun. We're gonna keep fireworks. I sure like fireworks. Oh god, we got a fire so we can try to maybe get a thunder gun or something. So, but I actually don't really want to pull right now because we're just pack a punch and I don't really want to have to get one of our beautiful pack a punch guns right now. But I don't really know and I can't really get me okay because I already fucking have all four perks. So if I try to get that, it's just gonna not even be worth it. I think it's another dark round too. It looks awfully foggy out there. Oh my god, we're getting so many dark rounds. It's so different in this on this map and the race you get so many dark rounds. But I drive struck, you only get a target for like ten rounds, which only makes the map a little bit harder and space is not a little bit good. If I die now, I don't know how my butt crack will bleed and turn into a fright Freddy fast bear jump scare. I guess that fire sale had more other things to do than fucking wait for my stupid Ben Shapiro sped mushroom cap in the rap fucking ass. Remember, facts don't care about your feelings, and hellhounds don't care about your butthole. So, I can't believe Ben Shapiro's a real fucking human being. Like, what the hell? I swear to god he was made in a lab or some shit. That's kinda hot though. Look at this man's fucking Phineas from Phineas and Ferb. Looking ass butt crack nose on OO. We ping chilling now though. Round 19. Only five more rounds to go, gamers. I can't believe we're doing it for real, for real on God. We've shown them my latest Sprite Curran Berry collection. These zombies are getting absolutely dunkaroo dynamite dynamaxed. Farted on on OO. We are showing them what for and shitting all over their shaft. This is a really good training spot too. But I feel like it's definitely better with a thunder gun. I don't know how the hell we didn't die there. Yeah, no shit. Oh my god, if I didn't buy this door, we were getting fucking clapped. I don't know why we keep getting max ammo at the end of every dog round. Probably the worst time to actually get them. Just like me, that my brain, that fucking monkey bomb, went out of bounds. This is actually a goaded eye round strat. Because this, if you leave this door closed, this trap actually kills a lot of them. So, like, if you ever want to do a high round tra strat that involves a trap, I highly recommend coming up here because this strat is absolutely fucking goaded for real, for real. Especially when the zombies hit their max running speed. You can wipe out a ton of hordes with this one trap use. And then if you just train in here with a few zombies, you can do good and save a lot of thunder gun ammo. AU on God for real. Australian butt plugs. That's my favorite shit. Let's go. Ass crack unity right there. I wonder if there's a mod that actually adds time slip into Black Ops 3, because time slip in this game would make it so fucking cracked. Having this trap recharge in like 20 seconds would make it actually almost impossible to lose once you get the thunder gun. This actually just isn't a bad camping spot either, though. I'm a little 
little sussed out right now, though. Like I just lost a game of Among Us and shit my pants at 4 o'clock in the morning. And had to ask Markiplier to stop playing Five Nights Freddy Jump Scare Man to come wipe my crack. I love Markiplier, though. Man's a god-tier YouTuber. One of the goats, for real. I remember I used to actually watch him play FNAF every day. Man, was so nostalgic. Holy shit, what the fuck? Holy fucking butt crack, Chester Cheetah on a fucking dying turtle's mother's pussy ass butt crack, ear queef, ear lobing butthole, Monty Mole from Mario, fucking crackhead energy. I'm getting the hell out of this room. I don't know why I was trying to train in there without the thunder gun. Kind of a death wish if you ask me. But we got the beautiful uh, ape like monkey man Dorito butt crack farting fueled butt fucker. So we're gonna throw my good friend Albert on the ground over there, and Mint's gonna shit the bed and kill the zombies. But yeah, uh, don't uh, try to train in the M8 burst gun room at 3 a.m. Or Freddy Fazbear might just turn you into a marketable plushie and eat the shit out of your stuffing. I don't really want the M16 anymore. Man of War is definitely a, a W gun, if you ask me. Oh, but so is the Raycon Mark II. Let's go grab Double Tap, shall we? Panther, name a more iconic wonder weapon than the Raycon Mark II. I can't really think of one. The Raycon Mark II is good, iconic, especially since they added it to all the Black Ops 2 DLC maps after buried. Really good to like round 40, and it's really good. Way better than the actual Raycon, but I mean, that's fucking needless to say. It's Mark II for a damn reason. But yeah, the Raycon Mark II is just slapping, slapping these nuts on all fucking gloated gun for real. I'm actually gonna crap Widow's Wine. I take back what I said about needing to I'll get better without it. Absolute but crack blasted. I kind of wish that Black Ops 3 did add more perks. That's one of the cool things I enjoyed about Black Ops 4, is that it actually added a shit ton of perks. Although the perks they added were all fucking midder than Barnacle Boy's butthole that's been shaved recently. But the fact that they did add more perks was really cool. I feel like they should have, like, gave perk ideas to the community. And then maybe let us vote it on which ones they added first. But for some reason, Jason Blundell was like two people in a loveless marriage. And didn't really fucking communicate with us, like, at all. Which was, like, the only L of Jason Blundell's whole, like, time being the head dev at Treyarch for Zombies. Was the lack of communication he gave us. I feel like having no communication as a dev just makes you immediately lose points. And like, spare, sparing, like communication is like one thing, but man never talked to us. Man turned into a fucking cat and just fucking shit itself and meowed at us instead of actually communicating. Like, Jason Blondell did not talk to the community at all. Unless he was doing like interviews with people or revealing chronicles. I wonder how JC Backfire felt sitting next to uh, Jason Blundell and having Jason Blundell literally fucking strip for him to reveal Chronicles. That has to be the funniest way, but also the most hype reveal to a DLC of all time. I remember I was actually in class uh, when he revealed it, and obviously I wasn't paying attention because I'm a fucking idiot, and I was watching Chronicles get revealed, and I almost screamed and just put it some out then. I was so happy. Should have me hype for real, for real. I feel like if they did a, they should have done a Chronicles 2. Or I feel like if they do do a Chronicles 2, they should either release it in God 2024 and make that game not suck ass, or honestly just fucking release it on Black Ops 3. Because ain't no one buying a DLC for Black Ops 4. And Black Ops 3, if it would give them an excuse to fix the hacking situation and make the game on PC fucking playable. But they probably would never do that, which is kind of a big fat stanky yo. I'm actually out of ammo for my lamentation, ditty, butt crack, inflated crack cheeks. So we're gonna, we're gonna hit the box and hopefully get something good. Hopefully Papa John's mystery box butt crackeria ain't trying to sauce me some mid-tier fucking butt crack guns. 
guns. While the gun we used five rounds ago, I mean, it's definitely not bad, but something more fresh with a taste that is not shit in my mouth would be more better right now, to be honest. Oh, yes, that's the fear part about ASMR autistic dog barking. For some reason, I thought this was the Wonder Wolf, even though know, it's not my map. It's already almost midnight. Why is my dog having a brain in here? So, I guess maybe he wants to be part of the ASMR. Type doggo dog doge in the chat if you made it this far in the video. Oh, yeah, I got the big crack burst gun. This is the worst gun in God Zombies history. You cannot convince me otherwise. We're at least top 10 worst. I keep getting the Man of War. I mean, the Man of War is fucking goaded on the sauce. On God for real. But, like, I know, so probably keep the Man of War in the Mark II if this next hit his butt crack buns. I'm gonna take the Haymaker over the Mark II. Just because the Haymaker's fucking butt crack goaded on his sticky dickity whole ass for real. Let's go, gamers. I'm gonna go pack a punch on the butt crack whole ass round. We'll use these last two back guns and then I'll end the video. Oh yeah, I ripped off and making his booty crack whistle. Nothing gets me even more excited to be alive than ripped off and having his booty cheeks whistle for me. Man invented a new musical instrument. Man turned his crack cheeks into instruments. We just fucking goaded on God crack stain shit crack for real. Yo, ripped off it right there. Man's looking sexy as hell right now. Based Rick Toffin, based Rick Toffin for real. I remember on Black Ops 1, I was playing with one of my Xbox friends, and he stood on that little ledge there, and we were at like 26, and I was like 10, so that was like a big for us, and I went and proned under him, and we both fucking died, because like the, it was the equivalent of when you dolphin dive on someone in a corner, the game just shits itself and you both die, and yeah, we lost, and I don't think we ever played again after that. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of an L. It was kind of really fucking funny though. So honestly, I think it was worth it for the meme. And there's around 24 cameras. Let's go. I feel like the stage is probably the most iconic spot in God Zombies. I feel like everyone that's at least played Zombies has probably trained in this room. At least one point in their lives, you know. Like this just room is just absolutely butt crack blasted based as shit. Booty yo butt crack on a billy bob body booty man. Like this is just so damn iconic and nostalgic. Training on this stage is like the easiest round 50 you could do if you have the reaction time and the patience to do it at least. Man just decided to become one with the wall. Man's trying to become one with his Fortnite builds, I guess. Like, what the fuck is blood doing? Man's just being chillin'. Get absolutely cracked on. What the fuck? Oh my god, they're coming from the wall. Holy shit. The itsy bitsy spider went up my ass crack. Out came my shit and blew that bitch to hell. I feel like I've been saying the word butt cheeks a lot this video, and I don't know why. I get the word of the day, it's kind of like Sesame Street, but instead of it being an educational like, way to learn the alphabet, it's it gives you fucking brain rot, but it's it's fine. Get away out of me. They should they should have made like an upgrade for this thing that makes it shoot rake on bullets. That'd be beautiful. I really like to mob the dead, I could upgrade the sniper trap with the afterlife. Make traps upgradable through easter eggs, or maybe even just getting a lot of kills with them upgrades them. I think that could be a really cool way to incentivize traps even more, and maybe make sure you use them early on, so by the time you get to a high round, they can kill them if you upgraded them or some shit, I don't even know. They should have made the rat. They should have made a mini version. They should have made like a Wonder Wolf pistol. That Like that should, should have been the special weapon in Chronicles. Like a pocket rip, a wonder wolf with like three bullets you get. I think that could have been really cool. Definitely could have been better than the fucking Annihilator. Okay, we made it 
That's round 25. Gamers, now we're gonna go sacrifice ourselves to Satan's lovely lit butt crack. Thank you guys so much for spending a couple moments of your day with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if this tickled your crack or made you relaxed in any way or gave you a good chuckle. Hopefully it improved your day some sort, though. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one, my dudes. Have a good day. Have a good night. And take care of yourself, gamers. Peace out, my dudes. I just shit my pants. What the hell? Holy shit.